Welcome to our section, How Do You Make It? This time we're going to make a carne asada chimichanga for you. We're going to show you how to fold it, how to make it, how to fry it. We are in the beautiful Seaport Village in San Diego, downtown San Diego. And we are in Margarita's Kitchen and Cantina. So we're going to go inside and show you. This is our place here, Margarita's Kitchen and Cantina. And we sell a variety of Mexican food, tacos, enchiladas, carnitas, tamales. Tortas and other items as well. Now here, see we have Carmen. Carmen is our official tortilla maker. As you see her, she's very busy making fresh tortillas for you. And now we're gonna go inside the kitchen and show you the whole process. Come on in. Welcome to the kitchen of Margarita's Kitchen. Here we have our chef, Armando Gallardo. Armando, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, so it looks like we're gonna make a carne asada chimichanga today. Yes. All right, so let's, let's get started. Now, the first thing we, we want to do on a carne asada chimichanga is the meat. We use fresh meat from scratch. So we're gonna have Armando pouring some carne asada, first quality beef into the grill. So we'll let it cook, well done. And while that cooks, we're gonna have the tortilla ready for you. Now it's important that the tortilla be warmed up a little bit because if it's too cold, when you fold it, it, uh, it might crack or it might open up in the fryer because of the temperature of the tortilla. So we want to heat up the tortilla a little bit, both sides. That'll give them flexibility when you fold it and it's not going to break. Okay, I think it's ready. So now we have uh, meat already cooked over here on this side and that's the one we're gonna use right now So to keep with the process. So let's suppose your meat is fully cooked, which this one it is. Now, the ingredients inside are beans and rice. Why? Because if you use Another ingredient like uh, sour cream, like guacamole, if you use uh, uh, lettuce or another cold item inside, once you put it inside of the fryer, it's gonna spoil, it's gonna not taste good. It might rotten your uh, burrito. So we're gonna put beans, and we're gonna put a little bit of rice. Now. The most important part on making a chimichanga is how to fold it. Why? Because if you don't fold it right, it's gonna open up. It's gonna, uh, all the ingredients are gonna get out of the tortilla. So look at the process. Both sides go into the center. And then from the bottom, you roll up like so. One and two times, usually. Now, we're gonna put the chimichanga right into the fryer, like so. The opening has to be on the bottom of the, uh, the basket, so that keeps it closed up. And this is how you deep fry your chimichanga. Now the oil, it's at about 350 degrees. It's a shortening, 0% trans fat uh, vegetable oil. And you let it for about three minutes. After three minutes, we're gonna show you how it ends up. This is a chimichanga that uh, was cooked for about three, three and a half minutes. So we don't have to wait for the other one. And now we're gonna do the final touches. Armando, show us please, what do you do with the chimichanga once it's out of the fryer? Takes a plate. And here we put jack cheese on top and sour cream and guacamole on the side. like so. Now there's another way to make the chimichanga as well which uh, we also make them wet which means we put enchilada sauce on top of it with the cheese on top as well which is enchilada right there, enchilada sauce. That's another way to make it. So he will toss the sauce on top and make it a, a wet chimichanga as well. So there's two ways you can make it dry, you can make it wet, more cheese on top and this is the final product. I hope you enjoyed our segment, How Do You Make It? 
we're gonna be making more recipes so just uh, uh, check back with us soon and this is our carne asada chimichanga